So in this video, we're gonna use this basket like a steering wheel. And in the downswing and through impact, we have to turn it back to the left. That is as simple as we can make the backswing. So in this video, we're gonna use this basket like a steering wheel. So if you can use a steering wheel, I think you can play some better golf and you can make your whole golf swing feel much easier. Now, just before we get started, down below there is a subscribe link. I would love you to hit that and be part of the community. It is absolutely free. And if you hit that little bell icon as well, you'll be notified when a new video does get released. So how is a range basket gonna help you? Well, like we said a minute ago, we're gonna get you to use this like a steering wheel. So if I hold the sort of opening of the range basket, from my viewpoint, a little bit of imagination, that could be a steering wheel. So that steering wheel, we can turn to the right or we can turn it to the left. In the backswing, we have to turn that steering wheel to the right. And in the downswing and through impact, we have to turn it back to the left. Now, if you look at it as I do it from here, you'll see that effectively my forearms are actually what's making that steering wheel or that basket rotate to the right and rotate to the left. So let me show you how that would work in a, in a goal swing. I'm going to take my address, use a little bit of body rotation, and then some point in my backswing, I'm going to turn this steering wheel to the right. I would complete my backswing. I'm going to work it down and I'm going to turn that steering wheel back to the left and then continue turning it left as I go through. So backswing, we turn it to the right. Downswing, we turn it to the left. Now with any luck, that sounds relatively simple. There's a very good chance that you're not doing that. That's what we want you to do. What we see all too often, we'll explain this a little bit more with the golf club so it'll be a little bit easier, is all too often I see the steering wheel being turned too much to the right early. The golfer then turns it back to the left. In the downswing, they then turn it back to the right. And then last minute, they turn it back to the left. And that sounds a lot more complicated, and it is a lot more complicated. There's a right, there's a left, there's a right, there's a left. It's just a lot more difficult. So now if we put the golf club in, or a, a stick I'm going to use in this case, we can see how this would actually pan out. Imagine that there's my golf club down behind the golf ball, and initially I'm actually just going to use my wrists and do my wrist set at the start. So watch what happens when I just make a little rotation away. Okay, you can see where the club would be. So I'm gonna now turn my steering wheel to the right and what happens? Suddenly we get that golf club on a really nice angle. Then I hold that, turn up, turn down, still on a really nice position, and then I can turn it back to the left. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take this basket, this steering wheel, try and get yourself an alignment stick so you can get that sort of nice visual. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna move away with your body and you're gonna use your wrists to hinge that club up. Now from here, all we're going to really worry about doing is turning that steering wheel to your right, up to the top. Okay, hold that there, work it down, turn it back to the left as you go through. That is as simple as we can make the backswing. What you're actually working on there is wrist set, which is present in every golf swing, and forearm rotation. Again, that's present in every golf swing. We can't get away from those two things. They are in everyone's golf swings, but we can get them wrong and we can make them far more complicated as we've said there. So what would that look like in a goal swing? Well, let me take and address this ball, add my wrist set to begin with, rotate my body. Now I'm going to use my arms, I'm going to rotate them to the right. What happens? The golf club falls onto this beautiful line, this beautiful angle. Now the key thing is maintaining those, turn up, turn down, and then at some point now I need to turn them back to the left. There's my goal swing. That's how I get that beautiful swing shape. That's how I get that on playing golf swing, if there is such a term and if that's what we're searching for. Many of you, when you video your golf swing, you won't see that. You will see the golf club being too flat. Well, that's incorrect turn. At the top, you might see the club kicking out this way. Again, that's the wrong rotation of the arms. If the club's too steep on the way down, again, that's incorrect rotation of the arms. If you're that golfer who tries to fix it late in the downswing, that's me. Then again, that's the arms over rotating the wrong way. Then we have to flash them down at impact never going to be consistent with that. So once we've got the idea, and you can use that basket, or even if you just use, you could use a plate, anything that you've got, you can even use a steering wheel. If you're in your car now, you could actually work on your golf swing, although I wouldn't recommend it while you're driving. We don't want you going right and left. But how do we then blend that into a golf swing? Well, I would do it exactly as we've just done. I've got myself a mid iron. I'm going to take an address. 
I'm going to use my wrists at the setup. I want to isolate that movement. Then as I start to turn away, I'm going to turn my body away as I start to feel like I rotate my arms to the right. That puts the club in this beautiful position. So as I turn away, I rotate my arms to the right. I then want to turn up. I want to work them down to here. And then we want to go through. And although that's not going to reach the green, it was a good shot. It was well struck. I've controlled the direction. I felt like I could control the face. And that goal swing to me felt relatively easy. So if you feel like if you feel like you're handsy, if you feel like you're if you feel like you're saving the shot last minute, if you feel like you have to flip the hands, this drill can really help. So after that little drill where we did the pauses, we can actually go ahead and hit some shots with that starting position. So I'm going to take my address, hinge up. And from here, I'm simply going to rotate my body, turn my arms to the right, hold them there. And then when I get towards delivery, I'm going to turn them back to the left. And again, I'm not going to do this at full speed, but we should see what we're looking for. Okay, that one on the left, but again, swing felt pretty easy, strike was good. And that's a great drill for anybody struggling with swing shape. If you get the club out of position going back, out of position on the way down, out of position at the top. Let's keep it really simple. Turn the wheel to the right, turn the wheel to the left. And this is absolutely something that I should and do work on because I do struggle a little bit with this in my goal swing. So let's go ahead and hit one, see if we can actually get a ball on the green here. So I'm gonna to have to swing this at full speed. And if that's the right club, That's a pretty good shot. So let's make it simple. Golf's hard. You haven't got loads of time to practice. You haven't got hours and hours and hours like we see the best players in the world do. Because of that, the golf thing needs to feel simpler. It needs to feel easier. Making sure you rotate your arms away and towards a target, and that's the only movements you have, is a great way to make your golf thing feel much, much simpler. Thank you for watching. Hope there's some information there which you can take to the course next time you play. Use all the stuff down below, and hopefully I'll see you back here again for a future video. Thanks for watching.